Hello, Ridge Kids. I'm Victor. And I'm Amanda. And, and we're, we're your Ridge, Ridge Kids, Kids directors. directors. Enjoy your video. What's your favorite way to celebrate Christmas? Maybe you love to look at all the lights. Or oh, make all the cookies. Maybe a Christmas dance party is your jam, complete with a festive outfit. Or maybe you cannot wait to celebrate by tearing into those gifts under the tree. I mean, it's super fun to open presents. But don't forget the best gift ever, the one that doesn't fit inside a box. God knew we needed rescue, so God sent Jesus. Christmas is when we remember the gift of God's very own Son. And one of the best ways to celebrate is by giving to others like God has given to us. So this year, along with the lights and cookies and music, try sharing a kind word and a listening ear. Hey, you seem a little down. I'm here if you need to talk. Try giving a gift that someone truly needs. Try lending a helping hand. I can put these away. When you choose to celebrate Jesus by giving to others, they can see God at work. That's why Christmas is an amazing time to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Glory, 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 and it shall she stay, glory, 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 and it shall she stay, yeah. my God, you reign, you came, and you say, yeah, so great, you deserve all the praise, girl, we lift up your holy name. Lord, we praise your name. We celebrate. We lift your name. We join the angels, cause we know one thing. That Lord, you came and made a way. You came down to save, so we sing. Glory, 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 and it shall she stay, y'all. Glory, 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 glory. As the angels singing holy, you get the glory. You placed the stars, then came down so you could know me. So we bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh Jesus, you deserve it all. We celebrate, we lift your name. We join the angels, cause we know one thing that Lord you came and made. So we sing Glory, 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 and it shall she stay, y'all. Glory, 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 and it shall she stay, y'all. Join the angels singing praise and holy, 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 holy. Join the angels singing praise and Holy, 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 holy Join the angels singing praise and Holy, 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 holy Join the angels singing praise and Holy, 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 holy Glory, 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 glory And it shall she stay, y'all Glory, glory, Hey, 
Welcome to Story Lab. This week, we're taking a look at the story of how Christmas truly began, way before 2,000 years ago. Ooh, things are starting to look bright. Hey, I'm Skylar. And I'm Sebastian. Today, we're talking about Christmas! I mean, what else could we talk about? We're gonna cue up the reasons that Jesus is so important in God's story and in our stories. Honestly, I think we should sing about it. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. You're in a musical mood. Well, yeah, I've had my Christmas playlist queued up since July, but my mom wouldn't let me play it around the house until today. What's on your playlist? What isn't? I've got your classic carols, some jingle bells, upbeat tunes. Get old, get old, get old, get old. I've even asked my grandma for her favorites, so I could branch out a little. Cool. What did she have? This. Wow, cassette tapes. Ooh. Yeah, she hasn't updated her collection in a while. So, are you gonna add any of these songs to your playlist? I don't actually have a way to play them. Grandma says her tape deck busted years ago. Such a mystery how this played beautiful tunes. Joy to I don't think it always did. The electromagnetic head of a cassette moves based on the sound waves etched on the tape. The movement of the receptor is translated into electromagnetic waves, which are sent to speakers. Oops. I feel like there still is a way to use your grandma's playlist. You got a cassette player hiding around here? No, but I do have an idea. Well then, let's make it. Today, we're gonna use these tapes to make our very own playlist planters. As in for planting a plant? That's usually what a planter is for. I dig it. You know, planters dirt. Yeah, got it. So. Step one. Step one, take four cassette tapes and give them some festive flair. You could just choose tapes with Christmas colors. Or you can paint them. We're using stickers and gold leafing. Make sure you have a grown up around to help. Gold leafing? Ooh, what's that old song from the Rudolph special? Silver and gold? Silver and gold, silver and gold. Another one for your playlist. On to step two. Step two, apply gold leaf adhesive. Just dot it around, then wait for it to dry according to the directions. Once you get your gloves on, start step two. Step three, when the glue is ready, place the gold leaf pages over the glue. We're laying down the whole sheet. Step four, use a brush to clear away the extra gold leafing. <laughs> That's a lot of lost gold. <laughs> when all four tapes are ready, start Step five, glue your cassette tapes into a square shape. I've been waiting on this one day glow since last New Year's Eve. Cause Santa always comes at night, Santa always comes at night. Moonbeams and late December always make me... Then, hot glue them to a square base. You can use a CD jewel case. CDs? We're going all kinds of old school today. The one I'm waiting on when Santa comes. Well, look at that. Simple, yet plant worthy. We gotta wait till it's dry to add the gravel and dirt. Sounds like a plan. Speaking of plans, it's time for... The Story Before the Story. Today we're in the book of John, one of the four gospels that tells us about the life of Jesus. 
John was one of Jesus' closest friends, right in the middle of everything. John got to see Jesus perform amazing miracles, like turning water into wine and healing people. John also saw how Jesus spent time with everyone, including outcasts and people who did things wrong. John wrote down what he saw and heard to help us understand who Jesus truly is. The Son of God. And that's where our story starts. Take it away. Hey everyone, I'm Padma. Merry Christmas. Deck the halls. Go tell it on the mountain. I know, it's a little early, but I cannot wait to celebrate, and I bet you feel the same way too. Today, we're gonna dive right into the story of Christmas, but we're going way back to where Christmas truly began, in the very beginning. Nope, back before that. No, no, back further. Even before that. There, good. Wild as it may seem, Christmas starts right here, in the midst of nothing, before the beginning of time. Jesus' friend John wrote about it this way. In the beginning, the Word was already there. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Okay, I can hear your questions. Where's Christmas? Where's baby Jesus? What's with the whole Word thing? No worries. I got you. See, the word that John wrote about, the word is Jesus. So every time that you hear the word, think Jesus. When you write a letter or send a text or email, you're sharing a part of yourself with someone else. You're letting them know who you are through your words. So Jesus is like God's word to us. When we look at or listen to Jesus, we discover what God is like, especially since Jesus has been with God since before time began. John continued, All things were made through him. Nothing that has been made was made without him. Life was in him, and that life was the light for all people. Jesus was not just hanging out at creation. God actually made everything through Jesus with the help of Jesus. The earth and all the stars and galaxies, the land and seas, all the towering trees and twisting plants, and every living creature, Jesus helped to make all of it. John said, life was in him, and that life was the light for all people, all life comes from and through Jesus. He is God's light that shines in and through us. Without Jesus, we literally would not exist, John added. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not overcome the light. No matter how dark and broken this world seems sometimes, it can never stop the light of Jesus, ever, no matter what. And John told us why. The Word became a human being. He made His home with us. We have seen His glory. It is the glory of the one and only who came from the Father. And the Word was full of grace and truth. Aha! Uh -huh. We have finally made it to Christmas! When people turned away from God, the world was broken. But God had a plan from the start of time. God sent Jesus, God's Word, to be a human and live here on earth and make his home with us. When we look at Jesus, at the way he loved and served others as he grew up, we see exactly what God is like. We know God and can be friends with God through the word of God, Jesus. And that makes Jesus' birth at Christmas even more epic than we could have ever imagined. The end. Okay, Christmas just turned into the biggest story of all time. And started outside of time. Now that's a brain twister. So, what's, what's our, our part in this story? story? Well, Christmas is celebrating Jesus, God's greatest gift. We can note that from the very beginning, God had a plan to send Jesus, and nothing was able to stop that plan. 
Even when people turned away and broke their relationship with God, even when things seemed dark and terrible, God's plan was still at work. Because at Christmas, Jesus was born. You got it. Nothing can stop God's plans. That should give us such amazing hope. And because of Jesus, we can know God. We can see what God is like. Not only that, but when we follow Jesus, we can be friends with God. Our relationship with God is restored. That is a super awesome Christmas gift. I kind of feel like deck in the halls. Or telling it on the mountain. I say, do it. Bye. See you next time. So here's the thing. God always had a plan to send Jesus. Jesus is the light of the world. <laughs> and the highlight of your playlist. Oh, hey. Our playlist planter. Complete with a Christmas cactus. Grandma's gonna love this. Thanks for joining us in the Story Lab. See, See you, you next time. time. I've actually never seen one of these before. They're pretty cool. It's a lot nicer than a normal cactus. <laughs> a lot less clunkier. What? Hey Ridge Kids, we hope you enjoyed the video this week. And if you did, hit that like button and subscribe. The Ridge Kids videos come out on a weekly basis. So, we'll see you next week. Bye!